Can you assure the people of Columbus that you did not break any laws? Yeah, I mean, we understand the law and we continue to follow the law and uh, I have no concerns about, you know, this. The allegations come from former Ginther Executive Secretary Denise Bauer. They are part of a draft of federal lawsuit against the city, one in which she also claimed she never got paid overtime. Last month, Columbus City Council approved a payout of $195,000 to Bauer to keep the lawsuit from actually being filed. Ginther said the settlement revolved around a change in Bauer's pay classification. But is the allegation he required her to do campaign work true or false? It's false. Ginther said Bauer's only work remotely related to his campaign was keeping both his official and campaign schedule. Obviously, the scheduler has to keep uh, the schedule organized and together to make sure that all those demands are, are met, but was never asked to do any uh, campaign work on behalf uh, of the campaign. Now, both sides signed a non-disclosure agreement. Six on your side, however, obtained it via a public records request. Bauer's attorney did not return a call seeking comment. But Bauer said in the draft lawsuit that she was regularly fielding extensive inquiries and communications from Mayor Ginther's campaign staff asking her to perform work for the mayor's campaign. She said she regularly raised to her supervisors the inappropriateness of her being required to perform tasks and work for the mayor's campaign. And Bauer noted it is illegal for an employer to require an employee to perform work for a political campaign. We contacted city attorney Zach Klein to see if he would investigate whether a crime has occurred. His communications director, Pete Shipley, replied, as stated in the settlement entered into with Ms. Bauer, the city denies any responsibility, wrongdoing, or liability to Bauer for any possible claims asserted against the city regarding her employment. Further, it is legal in Ohio for schedulers to add both official and political items to an elected officeholder's calendar, as has been done for many years by official side staffers across the state. Daryl Rowan, reporting from Columbus.